You guys want to be in my Instagram story? Insta Stories is live on YouTube today. I guess we should get started. Hey you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to address a question I get asked all the time, and it is, how do you become so confident? How can you sit in front of a camera or in front of a group of people or even just in your everyday life and be more confident? So I took that to heart, thought about it for a few days, got a few things written down. I wrote down my top three tips on how to be confident. If this is something that you are trying to improve on, leave me a comment down below on how you're trying to improve on it. Are you presenting something for your job? Are you a teacher trying to become a better lecturer? Do you just stand up in public a lot for some other job I can't think of right now? Or are you a YouTuber trying to get more used to talking to a camera as though it's a group of a couple thousand people? Whatever your situation, write it down below so I know the kind of situation you are trying to improve your confidence on. And if you like these kind of videos, give them a thumbs up so I'm going to do more in the future. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscription button down below. We are all about encouragement and self-growth and development here on this channel. But without any further ado, here are my top three tips to be more confident every single day. Number one is posture and eye contact. During my day job, a lot of the times I go to other companies where I don't know anybody. We're usually just there to make contacts and network just to, you know, open that door and establish that relationship. So a lot of times I just know to sit up straight and make eye contact because you will look so much more professional and put together and like you feel comfortable in your skin. If you look someone in the eyes, you're not slouched over. I used to do this all the time. You're not slouched over shoulders back eye contact and just look up. You will look so much more confident. I promise you if you just listen to tip number one, posture and eye contact. Number two is for when you have to actually open your mouth and start speaking. Take a deep breath and speak slowly. I know a lot of times when we're nervous or we're uncomfortable in a different environment, we're just, you know, we're not in our groove, we can just start speaking faster and faster and faster. No one knows what we're saying and we just come off as feeling jumbled or just frazzled. Take a deep breath. Again, use your posture and your eye contact and then start speaking. You will actually look more educated on what you're talking about the more slower you speak to the people you're speaking to. And they in turn will take in more of the information you're saying because you're delivering it in a more confident and slow manner. And number three is how you will make a good first impression and it is a firm handshake. Whether you are just meeting someone, it's a pleasure to meet you, or you finished a conversation with somebody and you want to go, but you want a polite way to do it, it's been great speaking to you. I look forward to it in the future. Extend your hand, you extend. That will show them that A, you're confident and you want to end something and you do appreciate their time. Hand out, they take it, firm handshake. I don't mean squeeze the crap out of them, but enough that you hold the hand and you give it a shake. Kind of like you're just verifying we have met, we have finished our business, we are going on our way, and I do appreciate you, and I look forward to speaking to you again. You guys would be surprised. A lot of the higher-ups of companies I have worked with and networked with, their higher-ups, they're so used to sitting, you know, in their own offices and not around people, and they will give, like, the smallest, tiniest handshakes, and all I can think is, you are a person of power. How do you not have the most firm handshake making that eye contact and speaking slowly to me? But I digress. These three tips will make you look more confident, more sure of yourself, and like you are always in your own comfort zone. If you guys have any further questions on other situations and you'd like more specific advice, once again, leave it down below in the description box. I hope you guys like this video. It's a little bit different than what I usually do, but I figure it's something you guys have asked for and I'm going to start including more of your requests in my video schedule. If you like it, once again, give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a new video on this channel. And if you do any other types of social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all above, my contacts are listed down below. It's a much easier way to get in contact with me as I am on those every single day. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.